Hey everybody, welcome back to more Poundland pickup videos. This is the start of the new month, month number two. Sorry that um, it hasn't been really consistent lately. You know, I was meant to do these like every two months, like, like, like two every a month and that, but I've still kept the old one month schedule. So I think this will work for now until I get a better system going because I've got too much planned. So we're on to the media section, so like um, DVDs, CDs and Blu-rays and that sort of thing. Today's video is mostly DVDs and one CD. Uh, so we're going to start the video off with the CD one. And that CD one is the Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. I just got demonetized for saying that at the start of the video, but oh well, it's right there for you. <laughs> okay, on to the DVD movies. We are starting off with an anime movie called the G.I. Joe movie. I didn't even know there was an animation of this or a series, but there is, and this is the movie format of it. I remember watching the G.I. Joe live action and the sequel that recently came out a few years back, but I just never really got into the... Um, animated side or the movies that they've done so this one will be really good to watch and see if it lives up see if the live action lives up to the animation because I know this one will be better it is rated PG for parental guidance so um, this will definitely be on my boxing list but you know I now have a G.O.J. movie okay next one we have American Pie Reunion which I call this technically the fourth American Pie installment, the true sequel to American Pie The Wedding, um, which basically this is the last one that ended it all off, and it pretty much, as the title goes, reunited the old cast to come back together, and especially Sean William Scott, who plays Stifler, even though he said in an, in an interview before that he really hated that character, and I pretty much understand, like, he's pretty much, like, Stifler's a, a dick, that sort of thing, and... Uh, Sean William Scott doesn't really like that character but when you're getting paid to do something you have to really become that actor and you know it's a job at the end of the day but he did say he really didn't like the character at all and I quite liked him in the team up with The Rock as well so I really hope he does some more movies and especially um, with The Rock in the future maybe not have happened but still he came back and did this one so he's sort of a legend in my eyes okay this next one I uh, didn't even know Poundland would have this. Keep in mind on what the title is. This is the Spider-Man trilogy. Yeah, that's right. The original three Spider-Man movies all in one. We've got Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, and I cannot believe all of this for a pound. And at the time, it was promoting Venom. So I don't understand how it was a pound in Poundland. Where it was normally retailed at nine ninety nine, and I got it for a whopping pound. And I thought someone's obviously left this in Poundland by a mistake. There's no way this is a pound. But then David told me that you can get this in Poundland for a pound, and it's so bizarre. It's got a slip cover and everything. So your boy's got all three Spider-Man movies. Your man's a boss. Moving on from the Spider-Man stuff, I'm going to bring you a nice little, you know, relaxation with nothing more than the Top Gear The Perfect Road Trip. Now this is the first Perfect Road Trip, it was a second one and I do technically have all the specials in, on uh, Massive Big Box Set. I got rid of all the individual box sets because I needed space for my other stuff because I didn't have the room and I got rid of the challenges which I, which I forgot to get rid of the challenges so I'm, I'm slowly recollecting my Top Gear but um, I really hate now that they're with, the, with Amazon the original prices have skyrocketed, so I really do not have the best luck. I should really stop and think, I'm going to keep that because I know it just become expensive later on. So I got this one for a pound. <laughs> I wish they were all like that. It made my life a lot easier, but the perfect road trip. Can't wait to re-watch the one. I can't wait. I think I've already unboxed this to my channel, so I don't have to do another unboxing video for that one. Result! Right, moving on, we have uh, Pride <laughs> Produced Zombies. <laughs> Okay, when you first read the title, you think uh, it's one of those low-budget zombie movies. But when you watch it, it's one of those low-budget zombie movies. But it's really good. <laughs> it's really awesome. It's like, mate, they nailed it. It's like, they really need to make like a sequel or something. Because this one really blew me away when I watched it. Obviously, I watched it online. And when I saw the DVD, I thought, I'm added to my collection. Of course I'm added to my collection. 
okay, yeah, the title alone, you might think, oh, it's one of those, like, low-budget movies because of what the title's been called. When you watch it, you're thinking, oh, my God. It's totally much more. But, yeah, that one's pretty good. I quite like, like that one. A pound as well. Brilliant. Okay, the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this next one, don't judge me on this one, because you, if you watch my channel, you know I get weird stuff, and um, I thought, why not, you know, why not get this, what's the harm in it, I've got the Mark uh, Peace experience, <laughs> now, I would say it gets better on for out here, but I have no idea what the hell this one is, like, this is, it depends how you want to pronounce it. I call it the 4400. People call it 4400. People call it double four double zero. You take your pick. I'm calling it the 4400 because of what it is, okay? You know. Now that that's taken care of, we come to the last, last lot. And this one, this one's really good. This one is none other than the Winter Soldier. Just not the Winter Soldier you were expecting. I behold you, the Mad Max meets Riddick, which the Sunday Sports. Wait, why is the sports rating this? What have they got to contribute? They're sports. They should be rating sports. Oh, never mind. It gets even better at the back. So at the front, they rated out five star, but in the back, it's only got four and a half stars. And this was from the movie blogger. Keep in mind, movie blogger. The movie blogger took off half a star. I don't understand how it managed to get four stars because it looks like one of those low-end budget ones. But the fact that the sports one, they thought was relevant enough to put on the front. The sports one. The sports. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves because I know I did because I've got a lot of things to unbox, a lot of things to watch. Some of it I'm not going to like. Some of it I'm really going to love. But then I'm just going to feel disappointed in a bit because of a lot of rubbish in here. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this pickups video. If you did, please make sure to support by liking the video, subscribing to my channel. And when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications by ticking that bell icon to keep updated with all the latest. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.